guys, it's Rocky here. Welcome back to Game of Cosplay. I know it's been quite some time. We are in the process of moving. We have a lot of stuff packed up and a lot more things to pack up to move in literally one week from now. And I apologize for not posting, guys. I've been trying to keep up to date with trying to post something, but I honestly wanted to take a break and get a refresher on my mindset on how I want to orchestrate this channel. And today we are going to jump into One Punch Man and... This game is in beta mode right now, and not only is it in beta mode, we are going to open some packs to start these things off here. So let's go do that. Let's go to recruit. We're going to go with our basic pack here first. We've got 10 gotchas. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got a good, good amount of greens and one blue. Dragon. Alright, we got one character and a bunch of money. I'm down for that. The money is definitely useful in my court. I'm going to only do 10 as to better my chances, just period. Let's go ahead and do this. And the probability you will obtain a character within 10 time recruit. So, and this is a high chance to obtain a 3 star character. And I'm going to tell you guys some tips and tricks on how I have been kind of leveling up. Ooh, we get a purple. My characters. D-pad. A. The Mosquito Girl. I'll take that. Get a two-star Mosquito Girl. Not bad, not bad. Get a couple fragments for these other characters. I will take those as well. Cool. So, to start things off, something that I've been looking at and making sure I do is making sure that I check my daily missions on this tab here. And also going to achieve these because you can get some XP bonuses here. Every little thing counts. Every single little one counts. Now this is kind of a gradual pro uh, progression here, so you don't have to worry about it too, too much, but uh, you guys need to do it. Now also, you need to go to the open beta. Here's some uh, items you guys can get if you choose to. Uh, I would recommend the open beta exquisite gift pack if you can do that one, or you can just do the open beta uh, perfect gift pack. That one's going to start you off pretty good, but you're going to want to go to starter mission. This is where you're going to want to be at. For sure. So start a mission and make sure you guys are doing all the missions that it, it, it asks you to do. Because Okay. Because you get can you can get characters in here. This is where I've gotten my my boy here, my Moomin Rider. I'm about to get some fragments for Genos, which I need that. not complete that your seven day login are the most important part into getting a heads up advantage here you get 500 gems every single day except for day seven which you get a character monster king triad which is going to be good very very good or i think you get a couple fragments of those not necessarily a character but you get a fragment which is going to be very beneficial plus getting 10,000 cash is Super beneficial for leveling up your characters and of course getting a better chance at getting some characters with these advanced recruitment order tabs. And this one is kind of like more put off to the side on this game, but something that you're really going to want to try to hit is your Saitama Daily. This is going to boost you up and basically what you're going to do is when you play the game just normally, uh, there's going to be little dices that you can pick up. So you basically get to roll the dice every single day. And the ones you're going to want to go for are this yellow one here. The purple one that I'm on. It's four characters. Specifically to getting characters. The health is also going to be an advantage. Because there's going to be a time where you land on a certain spot. Where you get to pretty much... Um, sell your hearts 
to getting raid tickets for Saitama for when you do these missions here. And you go to stage, and you go to security. Right here, the random stages. You can use Saitama in any of these battles. If they're too difficult, you can bring Saitama in and he will do his one punch or he and, and, and stuff like that. And I haven't gotten anything on the treasure map yet. Ooh, actually I did get a piece on the treasure map. Nice. But this is where you're gonna wanna farm out your your gears and stuff like that too. Love. And when you're not playing the game, you're going to want to go ahead and send out your characters to make progress while you're not playing the game. I'd recommend doing, if you, it's during the daytime and you have your settings set to where you get notifications, go ahead and just do the two hour one. It's a pretty good, I guess, way to do it. But make sure you, before you go to bed, especially with it being open beta right now, is to make sure you send out your guys at night before your, the next day so you can have the best chance to being in the highest level as possible. I haven't unlocked guild yet or fight arena or round to the strong, but this is also a very important thing to leveling up here. Right now everything's open and it's five day limit and with this being twice a day, these are your gears that you can attach to your characters, which is going to be crucial to increasing that damage just so slightly and changing the way the battle goes. And we'll get into details on which characters to focus on and stuff like that later once I get more hands on action with this game. Anyways, but these are boss fights that you can do and uh, redeem rewards like this, which you use for leveling up your character's attributes. Right here, let's go to character. You got this here, which you can upgrade their level. And then also when you get these amount of items here at the bottom, this upgrades their star level. So each character, regardless of one or all the way maxed out, I guess not technically maxed out, but one, two, all the way to that six star is you're able to level them up. Now the talent here is where those those pieces are going to come in handy like this, training gloves. I need a couple of those. You can also press source, random stage, and it'll bring you straight to that area where it's going to be generated, which you can see right there on the screen. And you press back to go back to where you were at. It tells you how much money it's going to cost and your accessories here. These are the items that you can attach to your character that are going to uh, slightly help and give you advantages in the battle. Like I got 15% defense, 4% accuracy, and 1% penetration. The two items set accurate plus 40%. If I would have two blue fire twos, if I would have had exactly two of those, it would have given me that extra bonus. For example, you got energy three, energy uh, six, and energy four. Since they're not all the same, I could have gotten the four item set. Common skill has 20% chance to add one mana. Mana, mana, I don't know what mana is, but you need to, this, this little bottom part gives you an example of your health, defense, crit, penetration, accuracy, and all that good fun stuff on each character. And it gives you a little power level right here. And, and then your skill traits on what you can do in battle. And this is where, right here, it's after you get a character, you're going to develop fragments where you can level up each character's traits. Chase, uh, chase, chases a knockdown enemy to ca cause repulse dealing 65% damage, which you, if you do that, you can upgrade it, and I don't have the pieces. But once I get the pieces, I can do that. Let's see if I have on Genos. I might be able to have one. I have none. But yeah. This is a way to level up your character's super attacks, I guess you could say, their active abilities, and their Justice Crash, their traits. So it's pretty cool, and they have types, dispatch attributes. These, these types right here are where they're going to benefit you on those dispatches where you send them out for the day or the night or however you'd like to do that. Oh, and we get an upgrade. Let's go ahead and upgrade our man to three star. Not bad. You're not going to need to max them out either, and I'll explain why, because when you bring them into missions, you're not going to want to get those XP that you get during battles to be useless. So make sure you guys are doing it just enough to get 
the extra bonus in attack abilities and upgrade your talents here just to ever improve your characters because right now is prime time prime time to be ahead of the game got some growth going see this like i said this is the one where you gradually gradually start doing this if you get 12 12 12 people and and like people 12 characters five three star characters five four star characters and stuff like that so this comes with time but it is going to ever help you progress a lot faster and make sure you guys are doing story and every time you finish each section make sure you guys are leveling up your characters and move on to the next stage because it's going to be very difficult uh, once you get to around stage four of the chapter here and once I pass stage four and get into five I should be able to unlock guild fight arena and road to uh, to the strong so we'll get into those items and uh, places later also one last thing I'm going to add for the supermarket here is if you have these coins here which you can get through the battles you can use these to kind of fast pace your way to getting specific gear for a character you want to specifically build I would recommend focusing on two really good leads right now my leads are Stinger and Genos they are very good for um, attacking multiple people I do want to get a healer somewhere hopefully in the next couple days with the recruits or by chance of being submissions and Genos is really good against that queen because he's got the the fire damage and it will make sense once you start playing the game and see exactly what I'm talking about but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there that's about all I have for you guys today welcome back to the channel introducing a new game to the channel which will be on the regular and this is gonna be extremely fun and we'll be opening up a pack the next next video next video I have and like I said make sure you guys are doing your seven day login if anything at minimum just to get your uh, gems your cash and your chances of getting a character so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you like subscribe and favorite and share with a friend or two or three as always live free or a card and base on join me tomorrow for some more YouTube content for the channel sorry I'm like pinching my lips my lips are super chapped and they're they're ripping right now and <laughs> it's pretty annoying bye guys for more daily content subscribe here if you want to see more of my daily life and behind the scenes stuff subscribe here if you want to see some other games i play click here also if you want to check out my main channel for dance videos topics and solo adventures click here also don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as i upload new content on all my channels bye guys